economist John Williams um, from ShadowStats.com who says things are, are only going to get worse. Uh, he caught up with him this week. We brought him back. We want to talk a little bit more. You've been incredibly pessimistic about what's happening right now. And, and you've also been very pragmatic that in Washington, a lot of people are telling me that in Washington, um, they're, they're not really embracing the true magnitude of what some people say is happening in the economy. No, you know, a year ago, and you guys have talked about this on the show, right. a year ago, uh, Ben Bernanke, the head of the uh, Fed, uh, Hank Paulson, head of the Treasury, even the president said the subprime crisis was going to be contained. There are 9 million houses about underwater right now. That's not subprime. And experts say that that number could easily double. That, that 15 to 20 million houses could be underwater in a year or two. That's not contained. So when you hear Ben Yankee this week talk about how we're not in a recession, we don't see a recession, the president, same song, not in a recession, not going to be in a recession, it makes you wonder, whoo, these guys have been wrong in the past. Are they going to be wrong in the future? Here's what John Williams at ShadowStats.com says about what's coming down the road. Where are we going? Uh, we have a, a severe recession ahead of us with even higher inflation than we're seeing now. It's going to be the probably the worst business cycle uh, seen since the Great Depression. I wouldn't want to be the president uh, in, uh, in the uh, 2012 election because whoever wins this upcoming one is going to take blame for a real bad economy. So with that kind of a prediction, do you hear that? A inflationary depression is coming down the road. And my first question was that was, wow, what do we do? I'm not the kind of guy that goes down the air and tells people what to do. But listen to what John Williams says. And he makes these predictions to Fortune 500 companies and hedge funds around the country. This is the guy who he gets paid for his advice. And we're lucky enough to get him on CNN to tell you what to do with your money. Listen to what he says you should do. It's a bad time for stocks, it's a bad time for bonds because of the higher inflation and what's going to be weakness in the dollar, that will tend to uh, push the long-term rates higher, pressing down on, on bond prices. Sell stocks. Very simple. Uh, cash, you want to be liquid, you want to be safe, and I'd hold a little bit of gold as a hedge against inflation. Now, you know what uh, Robert Schiller at Yale University, the famous uh, economics professor up there who does the K. Schiller Report, sure. amazingly, he says the same thing. So mm -hmm. does Nuriel Rubini over at NYU saying the same thing. These aren't a bunch of kooks. These are guys who are educated. These are guys who are looking far out into the economy. They say, look out. There's a big pie coming in your face. Greg, Allie. Greg let me ask you a question. Uh, I was listening. You know, the other day when, when President Bush made his speech, Brent Bernanke was testifying before Congress for a second day. I was listening to Bernanke speaking. Uh, senators were asking about inflation. Everybody in America, certainly in Texas, spent this week talking about inflation and how serious it was in 2007 and how bread and milk and cheese and gas and all of that is more expensive. And Ben Bernanke with a straight face said to Congress, no, no, core inflation is quite contained. In fact, it's under 3 percent. <laughs> Core inflation, as we've all talked about, is inflation that excludes food and energy. This is a problem when we say that that's contained because no one in America buys stuff that excludes food and energy. Well, yeah. I mean, the king has no clothes. I like to say the king. And another thing that he blurted out, which I can't believe he blurted out, and it's my reoccurring theme, that uh, the banks are in trouble. And he says there's going to be increased bank failure. Uh, what? He, he wasn't said, impressed he on said, that. He said some, some small banks will likely fail. That caused markets to be very con concerned by the end of the week because you know, the Federal Reserve Chairman, the, the, big, the big kahuna over the banking system who said some banks are going to fail. And what I say is, why did he feel obligated to say that when he wasn't pressed? I think the banks are in trouble, and there's a lot of evidence that shows that. Now, we all, we all talk about inflation, inflation, inflation. The word, of course, is stagflation, you know, um, slow growth, high unemployment, and, and high inflation. But the, the Fed Chairman... Um, I should point out that the Fed Chairman said he thinks inflation is going to come down and that we will not have stagflation, that threat of the 70s.